Hi, my name is Kevin Oliveira. I'm Senior Product Marketing Manager at Forcepoint for Data Security Solutions. Today, I have joining me Jeff Hall. He's the Principal Sales Engineer for Forcepoint. We're going to be talking about how to safely use generative AI, in particular, how to coach users. One of the strongest things that we can do in terms of helping users to use generative AI in a safe way and to keep data secure is to coach them. The majority of your users want to do what's uh, best for the company, but they may not be aware of exactly uh, what is sensitive data or when they're actually exfiltrating, potentially um, uh, exfiltrating data that is sensitive. So coaching users is a very powerful tool. And Jeff will be demonstrating that today, how it works. Um, Jeff, do you want to go ahead? Yeah. So let me jump over here to my uh, to my system, right? So here we are. We're a researcher. I've got some information that I want to look up and find, but I'm also using what could be potentially inside information, uh, right? Could be um, drugs that we've developed, could be certain things that I don't want that to, to go out, but I want to do some research on it, right? So if I come in and I pull some information here, right? So I'm going to pull information on this drug here and copy that over. And I just wanted to just going to paste that in there and see what, uh, see what it comes back with and what it says. Now, what you see here is I have a pop-up that is timed um, that says, and gets some information here about this policy is to control sensitive, sensitive data from leaving the company, right? Um, and then if you could review the policy for proper use of that company data, and I put in here where I have a link that they can go click on. Now, this timer does count down, so they have the ability to come in and say, well, I, it's acceptable, I don't know, I need to go read it, so I'm gonna go ahead and block it outright. And you can see there, we get our normal DLP pop-ups um, that come in here that say you, know, you violated the policy, it's been blocked from happening, and that, that's actually the incident's been created. This time, yeah, this time they actually, they were coached, and then uh, they because of that, they realized they probably should go back and review it, so they went ahead and blocked themselves. And so the data, the right. information was blocked from going to chat GPT, okay? Correct. How, so how was that built, right? So, yeah, so so what I've got here is I'm in the F, my FSM and I'm under policy management and I'm managing the policies. Um, I'm gonna go to my uh, research and development protect uh, policy that I've created here. Um, if I jump into that, what I'll, you'll see right away is when I come to the general screen, Here's that, that actual information that I had listed on there. So this can be you know, customized for your specific policy site that you want to go them, you want them to go to. Could be additional information about contact, you know, as person internal, you know, when it comes to, you know, uh, you know data, uh, data management, um, anything that you want to put in there to alert and it, it provide more information to the customer if there is a violation that happens, right? Um, yeah. That violation happened because we had a number of different things in here that were some out of the box and some customized to look for specific things. One of those drugs was a controlled substance internally, and that's what, that's what triggered on that policy there. And you can see here within the severity in action, we're actually saying, okay, I'm going to apply user coaching to this you know, at different levels. And at some point, if there's a large number, I'm just going to block that outright. Um, so now that I got a little information of how I actually got to this point to provide that coaching, Let's jump back over and see what happens if I, now that I've reviewed the policy, paste my information back in there. Control substance. Okay, yes, this is, yeah, this is, uh, you know, let's say that this is approved by my manager and let's say, um, you know, Kevin approved, right? And let me click allow. So one of the things that does happen in the background with that, once we have allowed that to happen, you can see here it comes through and it provides that information for research that I'm doing. Um, what, one of the things that information that it said, uh, that I clicked on the radio button that said, uh, manager approved. And I wrote in, you know, Kevin approved that we're still tracking that incident. And if I come back over to my FSM and look at my report, you can actually see within the incident there. Here it is where I confirmed continue. You can see that incident that popped up most recent one. You know, it, it triggered on controlled substance, controlled drugs. But I'll, let's take a look over here at the history. You can see within the history, from that coaching perspective, we now have a confirmation message that's maintained within the forensics to say the reason was it was approved by my manager and Kevin approved. So it's not just that it allows it to goes on. We're still tracking when they made that decision. 
but we're still allowing them to do that work with some heightened awareness about what's actually being transmitted when they go to those sites. That's great. It's a real powerful uh, tool that we have that we're able to help uh, the users to be able to use it safely, but then also to be able to be aware that there be of, of what is safe usage and also that they're, they're actually being, um, they're being monitored. And that's, a, that's an important part as well in terms of uh, overall data security. Well, for more um, information on uh, different uh, applications for Gen AI and for um, how to use ChatGPT, BARD, other types of Gen AI tools safely, please check out our Forcepoint Tech Talk uh, channel on YouTube. It's called Safely Use AI Tools with Forcepoint Data Security. You can see more videos like this that show how we can keep your data safe and allow your users to safely use, uh, use these generative AI tools and, and to be more productive. Um, thanks. Thank you.